And I'm Lizzie, and we're the Photo Sisters. Today we have a video for you about um, pocket wizards, radio called, transmitters, different things. But basically, in a nutshell, what they do is they communicate with each other. One is on your camera, one is hooked up to an external flash, and your camera kind of will tell this buddy when to flash, and it's not on your camera. So, so you might have to rewind that to listen to it one more time. <laughs> I have pocket wizards, and if you hear somebody say pocket wizards, it's just a brand of a radio transmitter. Essentially, you need two radio transmitters because what they do is they talk to each other. Like, <laughs> over and out. Time to flash. <laughs> Done. If you want to have an off-camera flash set up, and you can use this with one or two flashes, if you have a... you need your camera, and then if you have a radio transmitter hooked up to your camera, I happen to be using the Pocket Wizard Mini TT1 and TT5 system. These are wireless ones, but there's all sorts of brands. Some of them plug into the side. This one just goes into my hot shoe wirelessly. I absolutely love this system. But you can get all sorts of affordable brands and different companies. Just make sure it's compatible with your flash and camera system. So essentially you need one Pocket Wizard attached to your camera. Okay? I could use this pocket wizard, I could put it on channel 1, okay? And then my second pocket wizard, the radio that it speaks to... We have to turn on its antenna. <laughs> I would also turn to channel 1, and then what I would do is I would attach a flash to this little guy. So you can do off-camera flash with only one flash if you wanted to. And then so, this flash would either go, maybe your assistant might hold it, or you might put it on a tripod. Maybe you would hang it from the ceiling. I don't know. <laughs> but you would make sure that the controls were set up right there to match that guy. Yep. So they just need to be on the same channel. So like she said, you could put this anywhere that you wanted to, so that if I was standing here, but I wanted a flash to come in from like over there, I could set up a flash to fire from that side, okay? So it's really simple. These just allow the flash to talk to your camera and know to go off at the same time that your shutter goes off. Some people make some really great shots like at sunset, you know, or even during the day using just one off-camera flash or in a studio. I personally don't usually use this method of just one flash, but you can get some really cool stuff with it and you can be very creative with it. And, you know, especially if you kind of change around the power settings on your flash and just kind of test it out and do some practicing, you can get some really cool results. But what you can also do is you could have pretty much like two or three sets of pocket wizards or radio transmitters and set up like a flash over here and a flash over there and then have two off-camera flashes. You just have to make sure that these all are synced to the same channel. So you could do that or you could put a second external flash on top of your pocket wizard and turn this bad boy on and then both flashes would fire at the same time so you could get some cool off-camera flash going on with some additional light being powered. Um, we'll do a separate video that goes more detailed into my off-camera flash lighting setup that I use for wedding ceremonies and family formals that are inside because um, that's a really long story but this is just like the easy rundown of what a radio transmitter is because if somebody says the word radio transmitter or pocket wizard it might sound kind of confusing so pocket wizard is just a brand you can choose any kind of brand of radio transmitter that works with your flash and camera setup um, but once they're on the same channel you can play around and as long as one is attached to your camera and one or more are attached to your flashes you can have a very fun time using your off-camera flash. Yes, you can. And typically we use these at a wedding reception and the range is pretty far. Mm -hmm. um, I would say we've done as far as 200, 300, maybe 400 feet. Yeah. So. And a lot of this too will probably depend on the strength of your radio transmitters. Yes. So always so. look into that information, maybe what your needs were versus what your transmitters can do. Yep, I used to, I had a different, I forget what it's called, but I had a different pocket wizard set originally that had wire connections, but one of my connections kept falling out, and it was, it was like my, it was always the one that was off camera that's on my light stand. And so, it was always during the first dance, <laughs> or... <laughs> yeah, so that's why I switched to wireless ones, just because it made it a lot easier for them to communicate and not have wires running around and, you know, things falling off, so I felt that... These were much more workable with my camera setup, but 
long as you get stuff that's compatible with your cameras and flashes, you will be good to go to experiment and get some walkie-talkie action going on with your camera equipment. Something like that. Alright, thanks for watching. We will link the rest of our flash videos below. If you have any questions about speed lights or off-camera flash, when those videos are ready, they will be linked below. <laughs> Thank you! Bye! Bye!